The 22nd of June in 1941 will never be forgotten. It was a warm sunny day, but the radio and newspapers informed Soviet people about Germans attacking our cities and their tanks crossing our borders. There was a lot of work in the recruitment offices. Everyone wanted to prevent an enemy from conquering Soviet land, but our brave soldiers were moving to the east. It is impossible to forget those terrible days when thousands of young patriots went to the front as volunteers. During the war they were fighting in the squads of paratroopers, skiers, machine gunners and tank destroyers. Many Madovian Komsomols got main government awards. Infantryman Viktor Babkov and Vasily Karnishan Pilots Alexei Dravin and Boris Zaitsev, artillerymen Vladimir Gritskov and Nikolai Pshenishnikov, and the signalman Yefim Tekushov got the gold star medals for their achievements. All of the Madovians are proud of them. A Komsomol member Nikolai Domin was one of the first who managed to get to the right side of Dnieper under enemy's fire. He broke into opponent's trench, killed 16 soldiers, destroyed the blockade and made the enemy retreat. Nikolai Dermin was awarded the title of Hero of the Soviet Union for his courage. Pyotr Orlov, a foster student of Gripayedov school, is situated in Saransk district, repeated Gastelov's feat in battles for Berlin. When Pyotr Orlov was on his way back to the base, he was attacked by some enemy fighter planes. They shot at Orlov's plane and it caught on fire. Injured Pyotr Orlov directed his burning plane to the cluster of German military equipment. He was posthumously awarded the title of Hero of the USSR. Also, at the rear, our Komsomols did a lot for destroying the enemy. The young women, girls and teenagers had to work at factories instead of those who went to the front line. A meeting was held in Saransk by young women in July 1941. The ladies appealed to all women of our republic to learn men's professions, to replace their fathers and brothers fighting with Nazis. Young patriots raised more than 600,000 rubles to create tank columns and squadron of aircraft. Komsomol members and pioneers of the city collected scrap metal. During the war they collected thousands of tons of scrap metal for the country, exceeding government plans. Komsomol members were the initiators of the collection of warm clothes for orphans, for soldiers of Soviet army and partisans. Komsomol organizations of the city patronized hospitals and orphanages. For the youth of Moldovia, as well as for all our people, the Great Patriotic War became a terrifying ordeal. And the youth withstanded with honor. 